Hello and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix your frames dropping, well keep them from dropping in OBS Studios. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your computer is hooked up with your, an Ethernet cable. Now if this is not possible, no biggie. It shouldn't make that much of a difference, but whenever you're gaming or streaming, it's always important to have a very stable connection. Uh, Ethernet is the, definitely the way to go. Second thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to this website right here. Let me just zoom in for you. Speedtest.net and you're going to want to click on the big button that says go and test your, your internet speed. Uh, what you're going to be focusing mostly on is this number right here, upload. So you're going to want to reduce this down by a thousand. Well, multiply it by a thousand. That tells you your maximum upload bandwidth. And when you're streaming, you're going to want to be using about 60 to 70 percent of that number. So for me, I have 10 right here. So mine's 10,000. So my maximum bit rate that I want to be uploading is 7,000. Um, and I'll show you how to change your bitrate in a second. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is, as I said, lower your bitrate. So under the settings, you're going to want to go to output, video bitrate right here. So this is set to 5,000, which is fine. I could even put this up to 7,000. I leave mine at 5,000 just because I'm not too worried about it. I have a pretty decent computer. And then you're going to want to go down to advanced and under network, I believe is at the bottom, yep. Network, you're going to want to do enable dynamically change bitrate to manage congestion. So this will allow OBS to change your bitrate while you're streaming or recording to make it so that you're, you stop dropping frames. Now this is beta, so it's a work in progress, but from what I've noticed is it works phenomenally well. Um, so once you have that, and that's right down here under network, as you can see, once you have that done, Make sure that your network driver is updated. Um, this usually isn't a problem. Uh, Windows is very good at keeping your stuff updated, but if you do need to update it, you're going to right click down here at the taskbar and you're going to want to go to device manager right here. And under device manager, you have your network adapters. See, I have some for like a virtual computer, a whole bunch of them. The ones you're, the one you're looking for is, is you, either you're using your wireless, which is this one for me, or you're going to be using Ethernet, which would be that one. I actually have this disabled, I believe. Yeah, but that is where you're going to need to go, and you just right-click on it and do properties driver update driver right there and all you have to do is like copy this search the web and find the driver that you need um, like I said this is you're not more than likely not gonna need that um, it's just very uncommon for that to actually be the issue uh, the second thing well I think this is the third thing third thing you're gonna want to do is make sure that you're firewall antivirus is turned off yes that's kind of like scary to be saying but sometimes when those are like updating or scanning viruses it uses a ton of your bandwidth which will make you drop frames second thing you're going to want to do is close any application you're not using um, like I have a whole bunch of programs down here but I'm also not streaming at the moment so make sure that this down here, let me just zoom in, 
right there. You're going to want to make sure that this is pretty much free and not clogged up with a whole bunch of junk. And lastly, another thing that could be doing it is uh, the stream server you're using. So under File and then Settings, you're going to want to go to Stream. And if you're streaming on Twitch, you've got a server right here. Auto is recommended, but sometimes it's not super great. Like for me, I'm on the U.S. East. I'm on the East Coast, so there's no East Coast server, which means that streaming on Twitch for me is going to be not super great. And then it says right down here, you, you can pick and see maybe one of these works will work better for you. Um, since I live on the East Coast, I'd go with Central just because that's going to be the closest to me. Uh, but I leave it on auto recommended. And right down here, you have your maximum video bit rate. It even tells you. I said 60 to 70%. This is showing exactly 60 to 70% for me. So just make sure to hit apply when you're done and test that out see if that fixes it and the last thing you're going to want to do is if you're using a VPN or a proxy those can be absolute killers for your stream if your internet speed is like mine and on top of that you're going through a VPN like I use I have Surfshark right here I'm not connected but if I was this thing can completely basically take down your stream. Uh, it'll make it so that your frame rate is terrible and you basically can't do much of anything. So if this video helped you, I uh, would recommend you to put it down in the comment section. If you have anything else that helped you and is not mentioned in this video, put it down below. Let other people know so that other people have that help as there's only so much I can think of um, and there could be other solutions I'm just I can all I can do is give my information to you and if it works for you great if not hopefully somebody down below in the comment section posts their idea and that idea works for you so I hope this video helps you have a good day bye